Hey guys, how's it going? It's Calvin Rabb and I hope you're having an amazing day today. So in this video, I wanna go over some of the best summer jobs that are out there. I did a lot of research on this and I also have a lot of friends that have a lot of different summer jobs. So I consulted their opinions as well. And in this video, I narrowed it down to six of the best jobs that I see for you know maybe students or just anyone who wants a summer job. And then I've got a nice little bonus one at the end for you, just as a kind of a thank you for sticking around. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Let's start talking about these six top jobs for summer. So let's get to it. And if you're new here, my name is Calvin Rabb. I make videos all about the job market and personal finance. So if you're interested in anything like that, I would love it if you would subscribe. Coming in at number one is a lifeguard. And this is a great summer job. A, because it's pretty high paying and B, because they're also in need during summer, during the kind of the summer months, you know, almost every pool, at least a lot of big pools need not only one lifeguard but kind of oftentimes a team of lifeguards and things like that and the great thing about this is certification isn't that hard I know that because I got certified as a lifeguard now I did have a background in swimming and water polo and different things like that so the physical elements were not that difficult for me and I think with a little bit of training if you don't if you weren't a swimmer or didn't compete in water polo or anything like that you'll be able to pass just fine and of course the testing portion isn't that bad if you really know kind of your stuff when it comes to first aid and different things like that. So this is a great thing. It also looks great on a resume as well. You know, if people see that you are a lifeguard, they know that you're gonna be responsible because when you are a lifeguard, there's a lot of weight on your shoulders. You know, there's quite a bit of pressure. You know, if something goes wrong, you are the one that people are gonna to look to. So this may be something that you wanna look into if you're interested in being a lifeguard. Coming to number two is an instructor or a tutor. Now, there is a lot of money to be made here, and per hour, this is probably one of the highest paying ones, especially in tutoring and in academia in general, you know, there's a lot of money to be made as a tutor. I have a roommate who does a lot of tutoring, and he does a lot of it also virtually as well, so you may not have to, you know, drive to a whole bunch of places, and if you're interested in it, there's a bunch of different companies you can sign up for, or you can kind of start your own entrepreneurial tutor tutoring business if you like to go down that route, and I also added instructor there, because kind of teaching people things doesn't only kind of live in the realm of academia, but rather you can be a coach or something like that. So oftentimes I know a lot of people that are go and become swim coaches or coach football or something like that. So anything that you know that you can help someone else with, then that may be something that you want to look into and there is money to be made. Coming in at number three, and this is a great one and a lot of students do this, and this is get an internship. Now an internship is just when someone that's usually a student, but of course anyone can get internships, goes and works for a company for usually a short amount of time, 10 weeks for summer, semester, quarter, and they go and work there and really get integrated into the business. I had an accounting internship and during this internship I learned so much more that I never would have learned in a classroom. So it's great from that aspect and there are some that do pay quite well. On the flip side of that, there are unfortunately a lot of internships that are actually unpaid. And although that is frustrating and you know, you may need to make money so that may not be an option, but I wouldn't let it scare you away necessarily because sometimes these internships can lead to very high paying full-time jobs later. So everyone that I know that has a job offer guarantee after college, it is most of the time from an internship that they did that when in the conclusion of that internship, they were offered a job after they graduate. So if this is at all something that you're interested in, or you have a field that you want to get into, sometimes internships are the best way to break into it. Coming at number four is a bank teller. Now, when I say that, there's sometimes two reactions. Some people can be like, that sounds awful. That would be, that would be horrible. I would not want to do that all day. Well, as others, you know, if maybe you're a little bit like me, a little bit more finance minded, you'd be like, yeah, that sounds pretty interesting actually. So if you fall in that later group and you're a little bit more interested in this, then this may be something that you wanna look into. It's nice because they are very high paying jobs and they are, there's a lot of seasonal bank teller jobs, you know, summer, winter, amount of months or something like that. And if you're flexible with hours and even flexible with driving or different things like that, then that can even make you even more marketable and different things like that. So this may be something that you wanna look into, a great way to break into kind of the finance sector as well. 
Coming at number five, and you probably guessed this one because it's very common among, you know, summer jobs, and that is just a restaurant worker. So there are so many jobs within a restaurant worker that this falls under. You know, you could be a waiter, you could be a host, you could be a busser, you could work in the kitchen or something like that. And oftentimes these are very seasonal. I know everyone or a lot of people that I know that look for summer jobs, you know, if they didn't find an internship or something like that, then they go and become a waiter at a local restaurant or something like that. And and it's great because there are so many restaurants. And the great thing also is you can make quite a bit of money here because sometimes hourly pay isn't that much per hour, but you can make tips on top of that and that's how it can really add up. So if you're ready for some wacky hours and you know you never know what to expect every single night if you are when you're working and you're great with customer service, then this may be something that you wanna look into. Coming in at number six, and this is the last one before that bonus one that I'm gonna throw you at the end, and that is freelancer. So a freelancer Freelancer is just when you go and take a skill that you have and you allow people to hire you for it. So wide range of things here. You can be a freelance writer, a freelance artist, a freelance computer programmer. And the great thing here is you can control your own hours and you can really grow this to become a full-time job. And it may start small, you may not make that much money in the beginning, but you know, you can really grow this. And if it's something that you're passionate about, then it's a win-win. You've got your full-time job that's pretty high paying and you love what you do. So I recommend really, if anyone has kind of a valuable and rare skill to try out freelancing in some capacity or another, you know, with the advent of the internet, there's so many great freelance websites, Fiverr, Freelancer that are out there that you can and kind of advertise your skills and have people hire you for there. All right, so you made it through those six and I now kind of want to reward you with a little bonus. And this one isn't quite as obvious and it is more general than anything else that I've talked about. So I didn't quite want to throw it in there. And that is start a business. Now that may seem very daunting, but with the internet, it's easier than ever to start a business. And really I just recommend here is just start a business around something that you're passionate about. So the first business that I ever started had to do with surfing. I used to surf a whole bunch and I still love doing it, but I don't quite do it as much as I used to. But I started a social network for surfers. And although it never really went anywhere, I learned very valuable skills in doing that. And really start with anything. You know, this YouTube channel, I started my sophomore year of high school and turned it into kind of a finance related business. And now it earns me a decent amount of money, not a ton, but it does earn me some money and I hope in the future, it does grow and earn me more money in the future. But that may be something that you want to think about and look into as well. You know, is there kind of a passion project that you can take over? Maybe it does interlap with freelancing a little bit, but just the skills you learn when you start a business can't really be taught elsewhere. So just go for it. And the internet has opened up so many opportunities that it doesn't cost as much anymore to start a business. But that will wrap it up. So those are the six top kind of jobs that I see as far as summer jobs and different things that are out there and with that nice little bonus at the end. So that will wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. But before you leave, I do have a request that you let me know what you think in the comments below. You know, there are so many different summer jobs that are out there. These are just six with a little bonus. It's actually seven. And there are thousands. There are probably millions of jobs that are out there, you know, summer related jobs. So let me know your thoughts down there. I look forward to talking to you guys and this is an important conversation to have. So that will wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I am Calvin Rabb. I make videos all about the job market and personal finance. So if you're interested in anything like that, then I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you like this video, if you found it helpful, I would love if you hit the like button because then that tells me, you know, people like this and I'll make more videos like it. So thank you guys so much for watching and taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I truly appreciate it. But that will wrap it up. So so thank you so much for watching. My name is Calvin Rabb and I'll see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. So I'm going to move to the corner of your screen here. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you are going to see my most recent video. And if you look in the lower left hand corner, you're going to see a video that YouTube and I each think that you would like. And if you haven't yet, you can hit my face right here and subscribe. As always, my name is Calvin Rabb and I'll see you soon.